so this video is going to be for the love of classics book tag I was tagged by the lovely Anne from Beyond the Pages whose channel I'll link down below there are quite a few questions which are on my phone so let's get straight into it so question one why do you read classics and how often do you read classics so first part why do I read classics let's hit that in two little snippets first thing is I've always read classics so why break the habit of a lifetime and secondly there is this thing with classics that you only get with classics that allows you to escape into the social history element of a specific period in time. So you can read as much non-fiction as you want, but until you read certain classics you won't get what a certain class structure is interested in, uh, the little nitty gritty things, the way that certain class structures at a certain period of time taught to each other. It's that element of social history that you get from classics that you don't get anywhere else. So yep, that's why. And how often do I read classics? I tend to have one on the go all the time. So I tend to read a classic alongside a non-fiction, also alongside something lighter like a chiclet or a graphic novel, something like that. So question two, what is a period slash country slash culture that you haven't read many classics from and would like to? So for this I, I'm not the most diverse reader to be honest, I tend to read a lot of British classics and that's just what I like and I know it's not diverse but I'm reading so that's good. However I would like to read from a bit further back. I haven't read much Shakespeare and I'd like to change that. I'd also like to read um, Georgian books kind of before Jane Austen, uh, I'd like to do that as well, so that's the areas that I want to try and improve on. <laughs> uh, question three, which modern book do you think would be a classic in a hundred years time? Bridget Jones, I'm gonna be honest. I know it's loosely based on Pride and Prejudice, but Bridget Jones, specifically Bridget Jones's Baby, I absolutely adored and hopefully that in a hundred years time will be a classic. Um, four, what was the last classic that you read? I have no idea. Um, bear with me. So this is like a little book thing that I keep what books I've read in. Oh, and it was Paddington's London Treasury by Michael Bond. I think that's seen as a classic now, isn't it? A children's classic. So yeah, Paddington. Paddington. Five, what was the first classic that you ever read? And that would be Beatrix Potter. This one is A Tale of Two Band Mice, but generally any Beatrix Potter, I was just obsessed. I love animals. My first rabbit was called Flopsy, you know, Beatrix Potter. Six favourite classic book cover and for that one it's Agatha Christie's Sad Cypress. I adore this cover. I love the stark black with this kind of sepia effect with the roses. Roses are my favourite flower. I love the spine, how it looks on my shelves. It's not an expensive book at all. This was like 7 99 but I just think it's so beautiful. Beautiful. Can't get my words out. So beautiful. Seven. Classic authors you wish had written more books. For, funnily enough, I'm gonna say Agatha Christie. She only wrote 12 Miss Marple. I wish she had wrote more because I don't feel like I ever really got to know Miss Marple. Um, I would like her to have read about tw wrote about 20. As for Poirot, she wrote over 30 full length novels, but I, I still wish there was more. I adore it. I know she wasn't a fan, but I like it. <laughs> Eight, least favorite classic. I think a lot of people know this about me, but it's Jane Eyre. I get a lot of stick for this, but let me defend myself. I think Jane Eyre is a masterpiece. I think it is beautifully written. I love her writing style and I loved Jane as a child. I thought she was fun and feisty. However, Jane as an adult just really gets on my nerves. I find her boring and irritating and she just infuriates me. And that's not necessarily a bad thing because that is just a clash of personalities. We don't live in this fairy tale bubble where everyone gets on with everyone else in real life and I just don't get on with Jane. You know, it's just that clash of personalities, we just don't get on. So I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing, it's just not for me. So yeah, Jane Eyre. Nine, favourite translated classic. Shamefully, I don't have one for this because I don't think I've read any, to my knowledge anyway. So probably need to read some translated classics in the future. <laughs> Uh, 10 favourite modern classics, so published after 1900. For this, I'm going to ramble off a little bit of a list. So, Miss Pettigrew Little Day by Rhea Watson, Excellent Women and Jane and Prudence by Barbara Pym, The Nimble Bejeeves by P.G. Woodhouse, Map and Lucia by E.F. Benson, Sad Cypress, 
Five Little Pigs and Curtain by Agatha Christie. They're just some um, to get you going. It depends what mood you're in, doesn't it? You know, it's hard to say what's your favourite book of all time because what I would probably say is my favourite book, like adult book of all time, is Literary Lives for a Day, but it just depends what mood you're in. Like, I'm not in the mood for that now, so I'd probably say it's one of the others, but it just depends on your mood, doesn't it? 11. Classic literary places you'd like to visit. So I'm going to split this into two, as in an actual physical place and then a literary place. So as an actual place, Jane Austen's Bath. I've been to Bath a fair few times and I absolutely love it, but I'd love to go and visit it at the time of Jane Austen. Um, Bath is one of those places where it's so aesthetically pleasing, you do feel like you're back in the Georgian period, but imagine being there when Jane Austen's there. Ah, oh, bliss. The other place that I'd like to go, an actual kind of literary fiction place, is Poirot's Flat. I'd like to kind of move some things around and then just let him come in and move them back. Guaranteed he would because he would notice. Twelve, first classic you'd recommend for a child. So I'd recommend the books that I read as a child, which were Beatrix Potter, as I said that was probably my first one, but also the ones that I really enjoyed were in particular The Wind in the Willows. I know The Wind in the Willows isn't that popular and I'm not sure why. If you're not a fan of Wind in the Willows let me know in the comment section down below. The Wind in the Willows was one which was fantastic when we were children and we had such a great childhood and my dad used to do the voices and if you've ever read it and you know the character of Toad and how energetic and enthusiastic he is, yeah my dad used to do the voices and he said he did that because his mom did it for him and oh it was just it was lovely. So it's one of my favourite books and I thoroughly enjoy it and yeah I love that so I'd recommend that. I'd also recommend The Secret Garden by Frances Hodgson Burnett which funny enough is my mum's favourite classic and it's just a brilliant book and I think a lot of people love The Secret Garden too. Everyone loves gardens. 13. Classics you think are mistitled and what would you title them? For this I'd say Persuasion by Jane Austen but I don't know why and I don't know what I'd mistitle, retitle it to. I just, I don't know, there's something about Persuasion that I would change. I don't know. <laughs> uh, 14. Your favourite classic you'd like to recommend to everybody. It's not my favourite classic but I'd like to recommend some P.G. Woodhouse. I think I'm going to do a whole video on P.G. Woodhouse um, because I don't think it gets enough love but generally I think a lot of people should try and read some P.G. Woodhouse because they are just so funny and great and if you like British comedy you'll really enjoy it. And finally, 15, who do I tag? So I'm going to tag two lovely ladies. I'm going to tag Lydia and I'm going to tag Chintzia because I love to hear their answers. So that's it for this video. Thank you very much to the lovely Ange for tagging me. I had so much fun preparing for this video. It was so much fun to do. Yay. It's really nice to talk about classics. I love classics. You guys know I do. So yes, it's nice to give them so much love and attention. So I hope you're all having a lovely day and I shall see you soon for my next video. Take care for now. Bye.